everyone and welcome to another video where today we're talking about one of the most overlooked aspects to improving yourself as a sim racer and that is the mental game. A lot of people have the opinion of how good you are in a pressure cooker situation cannot be changed or altered. It's just one of those things. You're either good at it or you're not and that could not be further from the truth. The mental aspect in sim racing is huge and decides more race results than almost any other factor with the exception of raw speed and consistency. I can say this from experience as it was arguably the weakest part of my driving not too long ago. More often than not in qualifying, I've invalidated my first qualifying lap, the clock's ticking down and it all comes down to that second lap or else my entire race is down the toilet before it's even begun. I would find myself on that second lap where it mattered most, unable to set a lap time anywhere near my skill level and I'd be playing catch up for the entire race, all because I didn't have the mental strength to handle the pressure when it mattered most. People may try and spin this and say that this isn't because of mental weakness, but I could in fact just be a bad qualifier. I now know this isn't true though. Having recognised I was weak mentally under pressure throughout the last two iRacing World Championship Pro qualifiers I've competed in, I began looking for ways to improve this element of my racecraft. In the past two months, I have read numerous sports psychology books, listened to lifestyle ebooks, and of course, tried some ideas of my own to help improve this element of my racing. As I said, I'd always struggled with qualifying under pressure, so I developed the mindset that I was a poor qualifier. Every time we were about to jump into a crucial qualifying session, with this in the back of my mind, my confidence levels dropped. Even worse, during the qualifying lap itself, I was tensed up and gripping the wheel tightly. Why is it when we are in a rhythm during a longer race, nobody around us and we are entirely in the flow with what the car is doing and setting a consistently fast pace, we can drive the race car very lightly and smoothly with our steering inputs. Yet in qualifying, when we have to be as fast as possible, we often death grip the wheel as if we are trying to strangle it. Tightly gripping the wheel is an absolute spot on sign that you are anxious or stressed and not performing at your best. What we feel through the wheel can be referred to as kinesthetic input. Kinesthetic input in simple terms is the feel of something, in our case as sim racers, it's the vibrations and forces through the steering wheel that then tell our brain what the weight of the car is doing, the potential loss of control and how much traction is available in each of the tyres. By death gripping the wheel, we are reducing our body's ability to receive kinesthetic input from the steering wheel, which in turn means our mind has less information on what the behaviour of the car is doing in the current moment. This makes you more prone to locking a brake, missing your turn in slightly, or even picking up the throttle in a way that creates wheel spin or oversteer. So while you may believe you are a mediocre qualifier, you are potentially looking in the wrong places to get more raw speed out of yourself. So to combat this, we need to develop strategies to keep you cool, calm and collected. And honestly, above all, the biggest thing that shocked me was how much what you say about yourself affects your driving subconsciously. The first thing I tried to sort out myself was changing my mindset from believing I was a lousy qualifier and I just kept telling myself that I was a good qualifier. Whilst this isn't going to improve your qualifying performance overnight, it will help reduce the loss of confidence when going into qualifying and I found this out from experience too. I also was super doubtful this would work, but clearly the mind works in funny ways. Self-belief is a massive deal in every aspect of competition even beyond sim racing. Self-confidence and believing in what you are doing and what you are capable of can turn anyone's performance around. If it is having to defend for 15 minutes to the end of the race while leading against a faster car, having talked yourself up in your head as a brilliant defender is already half the battle won that will give you the endurance to last 15 minutes under intense pressure. If you are trying to hold on, but your mindset has been taught to believe you are a poor qualifier, you are likely to give up a whole bunch quicker. Secondly, being able to recognise when you are death gripping the wheel and what this means that you are anxious in the current moment, and rather than getting upset or annoyed that you are driving nervous, embrace the fact that it's happening, and then remember that everybody else at that moment in time is experiencing the exact same thing. It's just a case of who deals with it best. That said, there are strategies to break down how badly affected you get by these nerves, especially pre-race. As much of an oddball suggestion as it is, 
I have found pre-race meditation is a huge benefit to my on-track performance, especially pre-race and sitting on the grid. Currently competing in rallycross, being assertive in the opening laps and off the start is critical, and I feel this meditation has helped me dramatically. What I do is 5 minutes before the session launches is chuck on the app Simple Habits and do a quick 5 minute meditation session which, by the time it wraps up and I'm feeling calmer, the join race button should be ready and waiting for me. After a poor first two rounds in the iRacing Rallycross Pro Qualifiers, I started doing this meditation and since then my results have changed dramatically. Some may argue it's coincidental, but with all the science backing this up as well, I find it hard to disprove that this mindset training doesn't work, especially after trying it myself now over two months. It would be awesome to hear how all of you guys fare with the often overlooked element in sim racing of the mental game, and also after trying these strategies out for a couple of weeks, let me know how you improve as a driver as well. Just before I wrap up here guys, I want to apologise for the lack of videos over the last month. There has been a whole host of things going on for me. However, the past week was my final day at my day job and for at least the next few months, I'm in a position where I can focus entirely on content creation for you guys. I'm super passionate about sim racing and hope to bring some of that into video form for you guys to learn from some of the things I have experienced in my 8 years of racing from small Australian racing leagues to the iRacing World Championships. Along with the goal of 3 videos a week here on YouTube, I'll also be streaming Tuesdays, Saturdays and Sundays over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash boalbert. Link for all my socials, including my Discord, are down in the description below. Until next time guys, see you later.